What's good, y'all? This is your boy Jack back again with another video. Today, we're going to be doing some PS5 uh, game remote play streaming. And uh, we're going to be doing this on the, obviously, on the A1 Pro, but this will work with the ROG Ally and any other handheld gaming device utilizing a handheld companion. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, definitely go to their Discord. Casper and the rest of the team, they are amazing. You know what I'm saying? They're doing really, really good work. And definitely, definitely uh, subscribe to their Patreon for their early access builds and things like that. But uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, once you bring up Handheld Companion, there is an option where you can actually emulate a DualShock 4 controller or an Xbox 360 controller. And why that's important is because with Xbox 360 controllers, obviously you have X input, but with uh, the DualShock situation, being able to emulate that, you can kind of get around the whole uh, remote play situation. So uh, here you go. And with this particular situation, I'm not uh, utilizing the, uh, the track pads, but they are um, enabled in here. There are options for those under the, uh, <clears throat> under the, uh, specific menus, but I'll leave the link in the description to, for the GitHub. And I have the GitHub right here on how to set it up. It's real simple. Uh, you get into handheld companion, you navigate to the controller page, you know, you go to the controller section and then obviously you do the little selection just like I did. And then you want to enable it. And then here's all the information about the track pads. You want to display the virtual track pads. I've already set this up. That's the reason why I'm just going, kind of going through it. Once you do that, then you're going to uh, modify the position of the vir virtual track pads. You can put those wherever you want. And then coming down here. Now, this is where it kind of get, uh, gets different. Uh, it's asking you to shut, set up uh, Chiaki. And Chiaki can be kind of finicky and stuff like that. But once you get it set up, it does work really, really well. However, um, utilizing the handheld companion, you don't need Chiaki. You just need this QT, uh, QTC fork. And once you download that, it's going to bring you in here. So you, you actually have two options of how, how you want to get it all set up, you know, about how getting your uh, PS account. And then here we go. This is kind of like the two biggest things right here. So the remote play 5.5 installer. So you definitely want to use this one, not the latest one that's on Sony's website, because for some reason, Sony has uh, disabled, uh, you know, some type of options and stuff like that. And it doesn't play play nice with a uh, handheld companion. So download that, go ahead and do the installation. And then right here, the remote play patch, go ahead and, you know, once you get that downloaded, you'll um, <clears throat> double click and run that patch file. And then once you're up and running, then everything else is on your PS5. So once, obviously, once you go into your PS5, you go under settings. And then once you go into the settings portion, and then you want to, you know, send, then you can go in there and you can uh, enable uh, the, <clears throat> you can enable, you know, remote play from there. And then, you know, it's going to walk you through the prompts. You're going to have to put in the code and then you'll be good to go. But enough talking. Let's uh, get into it. And uh, let's, let, let's see if we can get, uh, see if we can get it to work again. <laughs> uh, I was playing, um, as you can see right there, as my uh, PS5 I was uh, playing some Diablo and you guys can uh, check it out I don't have the whole little FPS thing up there 